Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is a beautiful bike. Yeah, have a good day, everyone. Who delivered? Not delivered. Giordano. Ooh, 40% off. The Giordano Trieste gravel bike. Wait, 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 wait. Trieste. Trieste. Mm, I don't know about that. Correctly? Trieste. 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 The 700C Giordano Trieste gravel bike is ideal for riders looking for a high quality, smartly equipped adventure bike made for miles off of and on road enjoyment. Built around a lightweight chromoly steel frame slash fork and combined with 30mm wide tires between you and the less traveled road, you'll be amazed with the ultra smooth ride quality. Bike specifications, bike is the Giordano Trieste frame, chromoly steel, cross, pretty sure that's just stylized for chromoly steel, something like that. Headset integrated 1 and 1 8 threadless, wheels 700C aluminum double wall, 32 hole 14G stainless steel spokes, alloy hubs, brakes dual mechanical disc, tire 700C by 30mm Presta valve. Shifters, Shimano Claris STI 16 speed. Rear derailleur, Shimano Claris. Front derailleur, Shimano. Cassette, Shimano 8 speed 11 to 32 tooth. Chain, KMC Z72. Crank, alloy 170 millimeter. Pedals, steel cage. Saddle, road. Seat post, alloy 27.2 by 350 millimeter. Handlebar, steel 420. Millimeter. Stem, alloy 100 millimeter by 40 millimeter. Grips, nylon comfort. Assembled weight is 29 pounds, which is equivalent to about 13.6 kg. Measurements. I purchased the medium, so here are the measurements for the medium. Recommended height is 5'7 to 5'11, and uh, even the small goes up to about 5'8. And based on this review down here, his medium was listed as a 54 centimeter, so it should be about right for me. Max rider weight, 275 pounds which is equivalent to about 124 kg. I mean, they're squeaking, but they're decent. Oh yes. 
I love fishtailing, baby. This is fun. And I'm not even doing anything super special. Huh? Huh? It's sand now. The sand is so hard to get through because you start sliding. And there's nothing you can really do about sand in terms of tire pressure when it's, if it's thick enough, you know, if it's deep enough. Yeah, this is working out much better than a 20 inch folding bike. I mean, I haven't been out here specifically with that bike, but it's honestly, it feels kind of crazy how much you continue rolling on 20, or I was about to say 29 inch wheels, on uh, 700C wheels. Yeah, 29 inch, 700C, basically the same. But I'm really surprised that how well you roll because I straight up like even going up inclines it's, it's kind of wild how you still kind of keep speed even if you kind of stop pedaling a little bit because on a folding bike that absolutely doesn't happen I like how this, how people are kind of naturally creating a trail, just riding through here. I think you look like the, uh, how it just naturally turns into like that triangle. Some people go right up here so that they can make it all the way. But I don't really want to go this way because that dirt is way too soft. It doesn't look quite as grand when you're this high up.